What we're going to cover here today is how to add an image to a portfolio item and also add a paragraph, new paragraph to this description. The test case we'll work on is walk modular and we're going to replace these placeholder images. To do this, click on the top left on Fuse Contract Furniture. We provide you the credentials to log on to this. Then click on Portfolio and we'll be presented with Walk Modular. If you click on Walk Modular, uh, you'll be presented with the Visual Composer interface. There were and are two columns on the uh, portfolio items. In the left hand column, we have the images. So to replace this image and change it, click on the pencil by hovering over the single image. And we'll cross out the placeholder image and click on plus. Now we will upload the two images that we have for Walker. Apologies for the day delay. I've realized that they are entitled H by H and I believe also all of these, Hilton 2, Hilton Hero 1. So I'm going to upload all four of them in one go by selecting them all. I did so by clicking on the first and then holding shift and then on the last and clicking choose. We could have done that with just one at a time, but this saves us some time. So then uh, we have our four images that have been added and I'm going to add alternate text. This is text that primarily is used for blind uh, people and they, they can uh, have a description of what the image is and um, that helps them understand what's on the web page. Here I will type, let me see, I believe you called it um, apologies, Walker Modular. We go back and within the alt, uh, alternate text, we put Walker Modular and then Bathroom because this alternate text is also very good for um, uh, optimizing your site for certain keywords. We can return to that later. So I put the same description in each because we are looking at a bathroom in each of these. And um, we will start with these, these two images that are of the highest quality. We will click on set image, save changes. So there's the first image. The second image is a lot easier. We simply click on the cross, click plus, and we've already uploaded it. So we'll then add the image of the sink by clicking set image. And we wish to have two extra images. So you could simply click on this duplicate clone single image button and we'll click on that again to be able to add four images in total. As we will see when we save all of this, these images were not all of the same size um, and You'll, you'll be able to see what the problem is with that when we visit it on the web page. So we should always aspire to have images of the same uh, dimensions. I advise 1024 by 768 is fine, but generally if the width is the same on all of them, then that looks the best. Well, the second part that we were going to do is the um, space in between the two paragraphs. There's meant to be a space between uh, a hospitality sector and as walk modular. To change this text, we click on the pencil. And it's not particularly user friendly, apologies, but if we click on the text and then we scroll down here, we'll come to the description. This is where we want the new paragraph. So we simply, very simply, click enter, save changes, and we can see 
that there's a new paragraph in there. If we wanted to change any other part of this, then this is the table section. Um, again, it's best to edit it within text. And so on the uh, in the title here is the, the left-hand column of the table, and this is the right-hand column. So you'd go and edit anything in there that you would like. Always click Save Changes when done, and most important, to click Update when finished with everything. So that's us all done, just before leaving here. This is, of course, where you enter the title. And here on the bottom right is the featured image, and the featured image is the one that always displays on your home page. If we go back now to your website, we go down and we put this all in context. Here is Walk and Modular. As I we saw, this is the featured image, and Walk and Modular here, that's the title I pointed to at the end there. Um, and as we can see, we now have four images and these two look unfavorable because uh, they are different sizes. They're very low image quality. So um, I may remove them um, based on your feedback. Uh, that's all for this uh, tutorial. Thank you.